So, uh, okay, so this one's on the topic of masks. Uh, this one comes from Nelson. He says, folks, I'm 80 years old, Vietnam vet. I have hearing loss um, and masks mute a person's voice so much that I can't make out what they're saying. Most people are very kind and move their masks to me. Not only that, but the masks don't do anything to prevent the spread of COVID. Uh, we're walking around like sheep. Rodney, have you, I've found this to be a problem. I, I frequent the gas station a lot. I buy a lot of ticket or, or something and the lady behind the counter, blah, 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 blah. what do you think of uh, <laughs> what do you think of the ability for us to communicate with each other with masks? Well, first, I think it's a little weird that you spend so much time at a gas station. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> uh, but uh, beyond that, um, I agree with him. It makes it hard. I, my wife and I were actually um, just at a restaurant, and we had this exact thing happen with the person taking our order. Yeah. Um, I will take a little issue with him saying that it doesn't stop the spread. It, it mm. does. I mean, it's not 100%, right? But it does stop particulates at some level. So there, there is some benefit from this. Uh, but you know what? Uh, making do is the name of the game here, right? <laughs> if you have to take off your mask to talk and be heard right, you just do it and you move on. We're all trying to make the best we can with what we got. Yeah, well, you know, Nelson's not, al not alone. We got a comment here from... Uh from Norman. Now he says the world's six top epidemiologists, he doesn't cite who they are, but uh, he says that the, apparently the top six epidemiologists have said that masks don't do any good. So we've got another one there. Uh, and then uh, and then Norman also tacks on that it helps it harder to identify uh, Antifa protesters. And I, I, I do agree there, Norman, though, though they're typically wearing the, uh, the black uh, balaclava or whatever. I'm not sure that it's the balaclava that makes them hard to identify. I think it's the goggles and the helmet and the complete white <laughs> yeah. wear, the fact that they operate at night, and the fact that nobody's looking. Who's going out and trying to find out who these people are to basically corral them and put them in jail? That would be no one. So that's what makes it hard. Yeah, I agree. All right, we got another one here. This is a. Uh, By the way, a, just oh. to say, we can make this easier. Day glow orange paint. Pop them with a paint, <laughs> chase them down. I'm yeah. all about this. It will make them much easier to spot when they're running away in the smoke when the guy who threw that, you know, full can of soda at you is covered in day glow orange paint. I think there's something to that. I do too. And I, you know, we're solving one problem or, or a pro every problem one, one at a time here, Rodney. We're going to fix the world.